So this is what Hillman says, the ego helps you survive and thrive because what happens in the journey is that there is a transformation of your ego. So initially your ego is shattered, especially in the first half of the journey. And then the second half is a reconstruction of it. So there's de-learning and then there's relearning. The soul helps you serve and support, it's true. It is your turn to step up and shift roles. It's time for you to open your eyes to your own destiny, to your real purpose in life. Again, don't just stand still. If not, that's okay. He says it's okay, I don't think it's okay. Only you know if you're fooling yourself and stunting your fullest potential. Don't give up. Like again, what Nietzsche said, have that passion for excellence. Don't stop, keep ascending. Keep perfecting your craft. Keep perfecting your gift. Don't stop and never say, look, I've mastered it. The moment you say you've mastered it, you've lost. The role of the hero is to serve and to sacrifice. I love these words, to serve and to sacrifice. Serve your fellow human being. Service is one of the highest things you can do, right? And you, we can serve in many different ways. And to sacrifice, have a sacrifice. Have a sacrifice. Very, very important. Have something, you know, to sacrifice for. It makes life much easier as well. Because if, you if you're going through hardship, but you have some sacrifice for, then it makes that hardship much easier to, to bear. And that hardship will make sense. You know, you can rationalize it in one sense. The role of the master or the teacher is to enlighten and to embolden. This is the beauty about having a teacher. As the mentor, the teacher, this is interesting. He's now talking about you possibly being a teacher because you've been through one journey. You may come across somebody else who's just about to embark on one. So you may become a mentor, you don't know. As the mentor, you freely share your wisdom and you inspire confidence. 